Every single set of code you create in Scratch needs to start with some kind of an event block in Scratch. But what do each of them do? The win green flag click block will run code that's attached to it when a user presses the green flag to start the project. This is great for setting up your sprites, backdrops, the starting values of variables, like starting with zero points for a score, etc. You can use keyboard controls to run algorithms using the win key press block. Just click on the drop down menu to select which key you want to start an algorithm. The win sprite and win stage click blocks run code whenever you click on a sprite or stage with the events block. For example, in a sprite catcher game, you might earn a point when you click on a sprite and lose a point when you click on a stage. If you want code to run when you switch to a specific backdrop, use the win backdrop switches to block. I have another video on my Scratch playlist that talks about this block more. If you allow Scratch to use your microphone, the win loudness block will run code when your device's microphone gets above a certain volume. Note that this code won't run again until the volume is below the number and then gets louder again. So experiment with a higher or lower number. If you click the drop down, you have another option for when the project timer gets above a certain number. Number. This timer starts when the green flag is clicked, but it can be reset with the reset timer block in the sensing tab. Broadcast and receive message blocks can be used to run code in other sprites or the stage. Simply use the broadcast message block when you want to run code in the stage, other sprites, or the sprite you're currently coding. Then use a when I receive message block to run whatever code is attached to that block. Note that the broadcast message block will send the message and immediately run the block underneath it. However, if you use the broadcast and wait block, it won't run the next block until the when I receive message with the same name finishes all of the code attached to it. If you'd like to create multiple messages, just click the drop down on one of the message blocks and select new message. Then give it a descriptive name so you know what it does. You can even create a loop by broadcasting message in the when I receive message with the same name. The fancy pantsy name for this is recursion. Note that you can have multiple events blocks run at the same time. For example, two green flags that run in parallel when the user starts the project. But too many events blocks could cause some bugs or make your project look pretty messy. Check out my playlist for even more scratch tips or to learn how to teach computer science.